All right, so as you're doing these problems, make sure you use that chart that's listed at the top there so that you can map out a plan so that you're not doing extraneous things. Okay, so this problem is one step. It's asking you to go from moles to grams. So you can see there on the chart, I don't need one mole equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Like students are just tempted every time they see mole that they're supposed to use that number. Well, you're gonna see here, all you need is just the molar mass. So three moles times time draw a line, make sure your units are lining up so that eventually they cancel. And because you're being asked to solve for the mass, grams will go on top. Grams is a unit of mass. And now we just need the molar mass so find a periodic table. Since we're dealing with magnesium, the molar mass is 24.3 grams for every one mole. Three times 24.3 is 72.9 grams. All right, once again, let's see where this problem is headed. This is a one step grams to moles problem. I'm gonna use my graphic at the top there. And I know that I'm going from grams to moles, which involves molar mass somewhere in the problem. So let's start by writing down 20.6 grams of magnesium, time sign, draw a line, put grams below the line, put moles on top, and it's abbreviated M-O-L, okay, without the E. And now I'm gonna put down one mole is equal to 24.3 grams of magnesium, that's the molar mass, so the grams would cancel out. And it's 20.6 divided by 24.3, which gets you that answer right there, 0.848 moles. So once again, I didn't have to use the conversion factors on the far right of this chart because I'm not being asked to solve for atoms of magnesium. The problem simply just wants you to solve grams to moles. This problem is also one step but this time you're going to start in atoms and you're going to go to moles so we're starting on the far right of this chart and again i'm just mapping out a plan so i know exactly what i'm supposed to do and we're going to end on moles which means i won't have to use the molar mass in this problem so even though the square for magnesium is above me I don't need to use the molar mass in this problem. I just need to use that conversion factor that I circled in green. So let's start by writing down what we know. 5.67 times 10 to the 28 atoms of magnesium. Time sign, draw a line. And if I see atoms of magnesium on top, I'm gonna to write it down here on the bottom so that they cancel. And I will write one mole of magnesium on top. And then I ask myself, well, one mole is how many and that number is always 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. So the atoms would cancel out. And now you just need to put this in the calculator. Remember to use the parentheses like we discussed in unit two. And our answer is 9.42 times 10 to the fourth moles. Okay, but I'm just gonna show you a quick thing where you can estimate. You could do things in your head real quickly because remember you're smarter than the calculator. So you should have an idea of what the answer is. So I'm gonna go ahead and just divide the base 10 exponents. And we're gonna get an answer around 10 to the fifth. And then when you compare that to the actual answer of 9.42 times 10 to the fourth, it's within the same neighborhood, right? So if your estimate is getting like 10 to the fifth, then if your answer is also around 10 to the fourth or 10 to the sixth within that neighborhood, then you know that you're doing it correct. I'm just throwing different combinations at you. So in this problem, I'm gonna start you in moles and we're gonna end on atoms. So I'm gonna write the word start and we're gonna to move towards the right on the chart because they wanna know how, how many atoms. So again, I won't have to use molar mass in this problem. Go ahead and cross that out in red. And let's begin the problem. I'm going to start by writing down four moles of magnesium. Time sign, draw a line. And I'm going to put moles of mg on the bottom and then atoms on top. Okay, and the conversion factor says one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. And now just multiply these two numbers here. Okay, but first we're gonna cross out the units because we're really formal with this type of stuff. 
and our answer is 2.41 times 10 to the 24th atoms. Okay, so once again, one mole of anything is 6.0t times 10 to the 23rd. You can have one mole of erasers, of pencils, you can have a mole of moles, you can have a mole of basketballs, and this applies to atoms because atoms are so small. Here we go, so this is a two-step problem where you are starting in grams, then you need to jump to moles, and then finally atoms. So we're going to start on the far left in grams, work your way towards moles, that's a stop you need to make, and then you're going to end on atoms. So you're going from left to right on that chart, and it actually tells you each step of the way what you're supposed to do. So here, we're going to go ahead and write down what we're given, so 4.5 grams of magnesium, time sign draw a line, put grams on the bottom so that it cancels, and put one mole on top. One mole of magnesium weighs how much, and again, there's that square that's above my head. The molar mass of magnesium is 24.3 grams. So we have the first step taken care of, it's going to cross cancel. And now continue on with the problem. So now you, you need to make your way from moles to atoms, so put moles on the bottom, put atoms on top, and now you say to yourself, well one mole has how many atoms? And the conversion factor is on top again. One mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Your moles should cancel out. And now you're going to go 4.5 times Avogadro's number divided by 24.3. Make sure you're using parentheses, obviously. And your answer should be 1.11 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of magnesium. Last problem, again a two-step conversion, but we're going to start in atoms and we're going to end on grams. So it's the opposite of the problem that we just did the reverse direction. So we're going to start in atoms, make our way towards moles. Moles is always like the middle step, and we're going to end on grams. So let's start by writing down what we have again, 5.67 times 10 to the 28th atoms of magnesium, time sign, draw a line, put atoms on the bottom because you want them to cancel eventually. Put moles on top. So in red, I'm just showing you this is the first step. And the first step is writing down a conversion factor. So one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. The atoms will cancel out. Resume with the next step. Time sign, draw a line. This time around, you're going to put moles on the bottom because you want moles to cancel. You want to leave that unit behind so that you can get into grams, and you're going to use the molar mass. So you're going from moles to grams. You need the molar mass. So one mole of magnesium is equal to 24 grams of magnesium. You can put 24.3, that's fine. And we'll get 2.29 times 10 to the 6 grams. 